32 thoughts in our second intermission presented by GMC and the new Sierra AT4X. As always, Jeff Merrick and Elliot Friedman. And obviously, men, we're following the story of Boston signing Mitchell Miller. This was Commissioner Gary Bettman overseas reacting. Before the Bruins made the decision to sign him, we were not consulted. Uh, I happened to talk to Cam Neely since the time that he was signed. Uh, he's not coming into the NHL. He's not eligible at this point to come into the NHL. I can't tell you that he'll ever be eligible to come into the NHL. If, in fact, at some point they think they want him to play in the NHL, and I'm not sure that they're at anywhere close to that point, uh, we're going to have to clear him and his eligibility. Okay, so a lot of people, I think, feel the same way that the commissioner sounded today. I heard a lot of, why would they do this? There's a lot of talk about ho hockey culture, diversity inclusion report that was just shown at the Board of Governors meeting. Why would they do this? Uh, it wasn't necessary in a lot of people's eyes, and it was challenging to them when they're trying to have these kinds of honest conversations with some of the fans or people in their different markets. So I don't think anybody was surprised to see the commissioner react that way. I do think Boston at one point indicated it was likely they would sign Miller, but there's, I guess, a big difference between likely signing him and actually doing it. And it's very clear that even though the NHLPA has objected tonight to say that Miller is not suspended in any way, shape, or form, the commissioner is not going to make this road easy for Miller to play in the NHL when he's ready. Now, with, uh, with Miller scheduled to report to AHL Providence uh, today, Ron Elliott, I reached out to AHL President Scott Housen. Uh, he says he uh, plans to, uh, to meet with Miller this week in Providence. I believe that's going to be Thursday. And here's what he told me about the meeting. Quote, I need to meet with him to find out information from him firsthand. I only know what has been said through the media or anecdotally. This will begin the process of me finding out what he has learned, what he has been doing to improve as a person, and what he will continue to do to make himself a better person. I will decide next steps after I meet with him, Elliot. You know, one of the other things that a lot of people have been wondering is kind of how did this all start? And uh, a couple of months ago, right around the beginning of September, uh, Miller's new agent, Eustace King, set a, a package around to teams. And there were some teams who were interested. There were other teams who said, no way. Uh, from what I understand, Boston brought him to the city a couple of times. He stayed there for a week. And that was kind of the way they got to know him. Now, I do understand, and I think everybody looks at this, Ron, and says... The fact that the Bruins did not contact the family directly and didn't do that is a big sticking point for them and something that I think a lot of people are never going to be able to get past. Great. Thank you for that. Well, Horvat, uh, Jeff. Okay, he's one of the hottest players in the NHL. Uh, in his last three games, he's had uh, multi-goal games. Only Petri Skriko and Alex McGillney have done that before for the Vancouver Canucks. And, you know, also 10 of Vancouver's 38 goals this season have been scored by the captain, Bo Horvat. And he's on an expiring deal. And there's been no moving of the needle whatsoever in the contract talks. And, Ron, I think people are starting to get really curious here when the Vancouver Canucks will decide on his fate, uh, either in Vancouver or elsewhere. Ottawa Senators sale. All right, the nation's capital. There are a lot of people abuzz there. They're playing tonight with the news of what could potentially happen to the team. I think it's too early to say who the new ownership group will be, but the expectation is things there will heat up around American Thanksgiving or just after, and they'll start to really get that process seriously moving. Also, New Jersey playing late tonight against Calgary. Unfortunately, Mackenzie Blackwood was hurt the other night in the game against Edmonton. I think the Devils are waiting until they get back home early next week to figure out the extent of the damage hopefully it's not as bad as it looked and a final note hockey Canada really quickly yeah deadline for board applications comes up this Thursday on Friday the official vetting uh, of those applicants will begin and, and one th interesting note here as well Ron they've discussed putting together an advisory panel or maybe like, I consider it a subcommittee uh, that will advise this new board considering this new board will only serve for a one-year term pretty crucial to get everyone up to speed as quickly as possible. Jeff, I always mention the radio show, Ken Danico, talking about John Marino, <laughs> and he went out and feathered the past yeah. Jesper Bratt for an unbelievable game-winning goal against the Oilers. Wasn't he great? Yeah. So, Marino, that was a scoop uh, that you got from Kenny Danico. We'll see New Jersey at Calgary and Nashville. Zach Sanford, you see his shot blocks. More on that topic coming up.